say greetings, 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 one and all. Otep, shalom, assalamu alaikum, peace, Ayri, wagwan. <laughs> Welcome to another episode with King Simon on King Simon Presents. Make sure you share, share, share with all the other people. Share, share, share as much as you can because this one is going to be a treat for the ages. Remember my cash app is uh, dollar sign King Simon 3158. That's King Simon 3158 as I turn down my soothing spiritual music before we bring our guests on. How you doing family worldwide? This is King Simon. How you feeling? How you feeling? How you doing? How's everything? And first, before we get into all of that, I want to say thank you to all of my angelic ancestry within my divine bloodline. And we honor them in many ways than more. And I hope you honor your ancestors because a lot of us like to jump into scriptures and support other people's ancestors, when in actuality, that's just a representation of what you're supposed to do. Acknowledge your ancestors, your bloodline, the positive parts of you is very important. First and foremost, I gotta big up my, this young this young king named King Now, since King Simon Way, this is King, this one is called, this is uh, by King Now, young, young motivational speakers as Kings Don't Bully. That's right, Kings Don't Bully, make sure you go to King King Nah, that's N-A-H-H, K-I-N-G-N-A-H-H -N -H at uh, Instagram. And make sure you order his hoodie and support him and 
Mr. Strength, no weakness. I'm about to get his uh, shirt also. He's from out of Jamaica, so big up to him all the time. I got to support the youth because at one time when I was 14, I received the knowledge, the knowledge, the knowledge from uh, uh, from uh, an individual in junior high school, and then I proceeded to get the knowledge and move forward. You know what I'm saying? So it's very important. Uh, of course, I got to big up some of the events that I got coming up. This event is going to be sponsored by the one, the only sacred, the Global Sacred Women Village. That's right. The Global Sacred Women's Village, of course, owned and operated by Queen of Four. Also, uh, it's the Global Nation of Wellness. And remember, if you want to get any of Queen of Four's products, make sure you go to queenofour.com. That's triple W, queenofour.com. And before I bring on my guest, who is a sacred woman under Queen of Four, who graduated with honors, um, I just want to big up, of course, the big event that she will also be performing on, and that's happening on April the 28th. That's April the 28th for the first time together on the same stage on Sunday, April the 28th at the National Black Theater in Harlem. You know, I got that flyer too. I got that one. At uh, the National Black Theater in Harlem. And also, uh, doors open at 2 p.m. The event starts at 2.30, the latest 3 o'clock, but we do want to start because remember, Sh Sister Shaharazad is the only one that's going to be live streamed around the world. So wherever you may be, all around the world, the one, the only Sister Shaharazad will be live streamed around the world. And you could go to usalivestream.com. This will be her first time ever doing a live stream. She don't usually like to give up her uh, do live streams nowadays. It's not like back in the Donahue days and the Geraldo days and all the times when she used to be on television. It's not the same as it used to be. So people are usually taking her intellectual property and then trying to steal it and dupe it and, and make money off of it and not even bring her in or show her any respect. So on April the 28th, we have two guest performers. We have the United Front and we have the young lady that's going to be on the air with me for a short while. We're gonna be here till around 11 o'clock and her name is Natasha Dezoni. So we're going to her sacred woman, Natasha Dezoni. I call her sacred woman, Natasha, beautiful Leo energy. But I wanna stress that Sister Shaharazad Ali will be uh, speaking on monogamy and polygamy, which is better for the black man and woman in these times. And Baba Ashra Kwesi will be speaking on why are we still following our enemies' dogmatic religions? origin of Bible and Quran revised, so, or revisit, pardon. So if you want to get your tickets, you can go to kingsimonproductions.eventbrite.com. That's kingsimonproductions.eventbrite.com. If you want to go and get the live stream, go to usalivestream.com. That's usalivestream.com. It is up now. It is up. The live stream is on sale for now, so you can definitely go. It's going to be like a three-camera a whole three crammer prog going on. So we're going to have an exciting time at this place. I had the other flyer, but I didn't bring it down because I just got the flyer for Dr. Africa. Also, uh, you can go to kingsimonproductions.eventbrite.com. Dr. Laila Africa will be doing a uh, conversation with Dr. Africa. It will be not, it will not be a lecture. It will be a no holes bar Q and A. Everybody in the audience will be asking a question or two. And this will go on for three to four hours. And any health questions, any medical questions, Dr. Africa coming from both backgrounds as a nurse and a, 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 a holistic doctor and homeopathic doctor and acupuncture and all that kind of stuff, he will definitely be bringing the heat. So Dr. Africa will be in Nicholas, Brooklyn, and we will be live streaming. So if you want all the links to everything I just said and more, you can go to my website, kingsimonproductions.wordpress.com. That's kingsimonproductions.wordpress.com. And you can get the live links to everything that I'm doing that's coming up. Um, even the live stream on Joel uh, Benjamin 258 for Dr. Laila Africa. And also DC, I'm coming your way, Washington, DC. Oh, well, not Washington, it's Baltimore, Capitol Hill. I think Capitol Hill, Baltimore. I got to get the exact date. But on April the 13th, I will be at the Everlasting Restaurant, the Everlasting Life Restaurant, uh, speaking on numerovation and numerology and how it can help with the Black Power Movement. Because without good, righteous energy and at least good counseling, 
we can't have a good black power movement or a good black power nation. And hey, there's no there's no black power without green power also. So don't forget that. So don't forget my cash app is nice and ready for you. Of course, if you want to send a donation, you're more than welcome to send a love gift. That's uh dollar sign King Simon 3158. That's dollar sign King Simon 3158. Now, this young lady that I'm about to bring up is a dear friend and also participated in one of my classes. She studied under me and, and she did a wonderful job. She's a great person. Um, and uh, before I bring her on, I want to make sure I read some of the stuff that she does. First of all, if you want to hit her up on Instagram, her Instagram is Holistic Living Project. That is Holistic Living Project. And she is a mental health uh, and well wellness coach. She deals with uh, emotional trauma and mental trauma. She's also an emotional trauma healer and speaker. She deals with spirituality and neuroscience. She is a social worker also. And this sister, you can actually give her a call and set up an appointment if you're going through any type of trauma, mental health, and, and need any wellness, or you want emotional trauma and help and guidance through it, you can call her at 973-910-8470. That's 973-910-8470. Four seven zero and anybody around the world, hit her up on WhatsApp, hit up on regular phone. If you do need that type of consultation and that kind of healing, these are the people that I offer to you. And these are the people that you can be. And she is a sacred woman on the queen of four. Also her email, I believe I had her email just right here, but we'll, uh, matter of fact, I can go, I can go and get her email right now because she is on the line, but I will go straight to her email and check her out right now. So y'all can have her email just in case y'all are out of state. Y'all might be in London, England. Her email is holistic LP and she spells holistic differently now. Well, she spells it as you would get it in the etymology of the word if you go to the dictionary, but she spell it with W-H-O-L-I-S-T-I-K-L-P at gmail.com. Let me repeat that slowly for you. Her email is W-H-O-L-I-S-T-I-K-L-P at gmail.com. And um, of course, uh, you can deal with PayPal, I think, through that. I think you could deal. I think she has cash app, but we're going to talk about that. But very important, mental health and wellness is very important. So I welcome on with us right now the one, the only, Natasha Dizoni. How are you, Natasha? How are you feeling? I'm doing I'm doing great. Can you hear me? I can hear you. I can, yeah, just turn, turn up your volume a little bit. Can you? Get, I can hear you. Go ahead. Talk. Go ahead. I can hear you, my dear. Go ahead. How you been? I'm doing well. Long day, but you know, I'm yes. I'm still managing. Well, hey, look, it's always good. It's always good when you're working and keeping it moving and doing what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? I had a long day myself, but I kept in a happy mode and a happy, a happy mode as usual as I like to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm wonderful, my sister. I'm wonderful. It's a pleasure. And I know, you know, I want to let everybody know that, you know, my, my sister is also from Jamaica. She's a Jamaican sister. And, and you know, <laughs> and, 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 you know, we, we, we vibes a lot, you know, me and her vibes and conversation. Mm -hmm. Not only did she take my class in numerology, but she mm -hmm. is also a well-informed young lady, especially dealing with mental health, social work, and all that kind of stuff. So it's very important. Now, before we get into our conversation, let the people know, do you have a cash app that people can send funds to you when they want to do any appointments? And I understand you had a little deal going on. I understand you had like uh, 20 minutes for free. That's what you had. Are you still doing that deal? Yes, I do have 20 minutes free session. But, well, consultation going on, correct. So, and then after that is, uh, I, I don't know how much you charge, but I, you can discuss that with whomever and whomever goes out when they call you. But again, your number is 973-910-8470. That's 973-910-8474. And you, you have Cash App or PayPal or you just have PayPal? Um, I have both. Oh, what's your, what's your Cash App? Go on, gal. Give it to them. <laughs> Let me see what it says. <laughs> <laughs> You're laughing. You're funny. Um, it's my last name, Dizoni, 
Then not N A P A. Oh wait a minute. Let me let me make sure make sure we spell that right because we don't know, we don't want people to spell the wrong name and give it to somebody else. So spell spell the name D. D for David, E for Edward, Z for Zebra, uh -huh. O, N for Nancy, uh -huh. I E, uh -huh. N, uh -huh. A, uh -huh. T. See, and that's a dollar sign. D E Z O N I E N A T. Correct. Correct. That's for mm -hmm. and that's for Cash App. So, people. This type of information that we're going to share with you is, is a blessing. But if you could send your donation to her or to me, it's no problem. But if you want to set up an appointment with her, her first 20 minutes is absolutely free until what? The end of the month? That's what's going on? Until uh, April? How you no, doing? No, I generally have a, fr uh, a, consulta a free consultation first. Okay. Okay. Just with, with just to, you know, to, um, to assess, assess if I'm the right fit. Okay. For, for the situation. Okay, okay, and that's good. Now, I want to read something from a book that I have in front of me. As a matter of fact, this is the book that I found in my archive and said I'm going to give it to you, okay? So, mm -hmm. let me read something real, real interesting because I went through a, a episode, an episode from my childhood just recently. Mm. And I'm, I'm, I'm sharing this with the family because it was something dealing with my one of my cousins and they said something and it has something to do with the color of my skin. And I've, people know, I've said this online before that I, I that they're looking at a person that almost took his life three times. The first mm. time I almost took my life was at eight years old because of people that used to tease me because of my skin complexion and my family was a part of that teasing and that abuse. Mm. And I, I just totally today, I just revealed it to my mother actually. Went to my mother's house and revealed it, uh, or revealed it to her that, you know, because of an episode that by going to one of my cousin's house from the past, he said something that triggered it. And that's what got me upset about it. But let me, let me, let me, let me read something real quick. Okay. Okay. And it's from a book called More Than Moody, Recognize and Recognizing and Treating Adolescent Depression. So I was going through adolescent depression when I was young. When I was much younger, I was going through it. This is written by a Harold uh, Koppelswick, Koppelwicks, MD. Uh, that's K-O-P-L-E-W-I-C-Z or Z, MD. So this is the book I'm gonna read for. Very interesting that you shared this because you might know someone that is going through mental issues, mental health issues, some type of trauma, whether it's sexual trauma, uh, abusive trauma, whatever, they make a fondling, whatever. It's very important. But it says in the back of the book, it says moodiness is almost a trademark of adolescence. Teenagers can be sensitive, cynical, and irritable. But there are ways to distinguish uh, typical teenage behavior from clinical depression and undertreated illness that can have serious long-term consequences and can be life-threatening. That's what it says. And why I said that is because when they said it can have long-term consequences because people in your family, suppose a woman or a male was being abused by a, a male or a female in their family, an auntie or uncle or a father or whoever was being abused by their family members. These things have long-term consequences. People hold mm -hmm. on to things. Mm -hmm. now, now, Explain what you do before we go into that. Explain what is it that you do and um, how, how is it that people can learn more about it and how, 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 how important it is for people to understand mental health and how they need to heal or get some type of uh, guidance through it, please. Well, thank you for sharing that, Simon. Um, yes, so I'm a licensed social worker and I specialize in mental health and emotional trauma mm -hmm. and it's so important that um, we address mental health um, in fact the study showed that one in four persons will experience another mental health issue in their lifetime mm -hmm. and people of color um, experience mental health 20 percent more than the regular population mm. so 
a lot of our brothers and sisters are, are, are suffering in silence. Um, we're not, because mental health is very much stigmatized, um, opposed to, in, in comparison to physical health. You know, you know, with mental health, we can't see a wound. It's, it's, because we can't see it, we have a hard time understanding it. Mm -hmm. And that's why it means stigmatized. However, um, mental health is as much as important as physical health because without your mental health, who are we? We're, we're nothing if we're not able to manage our mental health. Mm -hmm. So it's a very important, I would say, issue for us as a, as a community, as a people, in order to move forward and just in our mental health. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and you know, if I'm coming from my case, I've, I've explained this on my YouTube channel before and this weekend was very interesting because you know, you know, I do numerology. I'm a numerovation, and what's a numerovation? It's a, a, a numerator, and I like to motivate people with number. And you know, my son came over, and I didn't realize how much it affected me until I started talking to my son about it, and then I mm -hmm. burst out crying because I knew that the uh, that the effects come from deep childhood trauma that mm -hmm. these cousins that had just came up from Jamaica and 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 I'm saying this because it was classism if there's racism in your own family and these are mm -hmm. lighter skinned cousins or light skinned mm -hmm. lighter skinned cousin and I was the darker one and before mm -hmm. they got knowledge of self before they got knowledge of self I was treated a certain way because of my complexion Mm -hmm. And my auntie, them that were lighter than me on both sides, my mother and father finally treated me a certain way. Like, how come you come out so black or humble? I mean, mm -hmm. you know, those type of things was happening to me from a young child, baby, young child. And, and then when my cousin said something this weekend, when I just went to visit him to see how he was doing, because he's not able to walk and participate in outdoor uh, festivities like he used to be able to. He seen my father and my father came to visit him. And he said to me while I'm sitting there in front of him, he said, how come you came out so dark and your mother and father is a little lighter? So, mm. so this is not, now he's about 60 now. He's 60, this is all, all this stuff is, is still inside of him. So he's holding in those things as well as I'm holding in what I'm holding in. Yeah. And it's hurting me. So when he said that, I just looked at him and, and because I'm in my sixth year, six represents balance, truth, justice, harmony, and peace. I didn't even argue with him. I just said, first thing that came to my mind, the, the ancestors just said, and I'm sure it was my two grandfathers. He said, well, my grandfather and my father's side and my mother's side are dark skinned people. So obviously I got the darkness from them. That was it. Yeah. And then I just proceeded to go outside and buy what he wanted and then bring it back. And then I had to leave. But I thought about it on the way and it didn't really um, affect, affect me until affected me until my son was sitting in front of me. Mm. And I had to say to him, that's what I went. And then I did a, a, a real burst. And I'm saying this. I'm only uh, sharing this with people and sharing this because I'm also writing a book on my autobiography and this, I watch these tapes and these uh, viewings over so I can help to even trigger all certain things that I am writing. This this type of, uh, uh, of, of dialogue with somebody like yourself is gonna help me to write my book better. You know what I'm saying? Especially my autobiography during those segments and those times in my life when I suffered from chi uh, childhood traumas and all that kind. I had, these are two cousins that used to tie me up and throw, mm -hmm. throw me from each other and throw me like a football and act like I was a football and throw mm -hmm. me from back to each other, back and forth to each other. When I was just a young, young boy, young child. And I remember oh, that any, when he came with all that, it, I remembered it all came to me rushing. So that's why my tears bursted out so much because I remembered that they used to punch me. I mean, really punch me. I remember wow. this stuff. And I was just trying to connect with the, the males in my family because my mother, my mother's side of the family was just full of females and my father's side of the family was as much male. So when my, my father kind of separated, it was, you know, he was trying to get back to that male essence because I didn't want to be amongst the women all the time. So I wanted to be, to, so it really affected me. So 
like I said, like, like the book said, it has a long-term consequences and even can be life-threatening to the point, like I said, you're looking and talking to a person that almost killed himself three times in my life. So it's very interesting that, you know, this trauma can still hold on and that it's not a, it's not a, an event, it's a process. Now, would you now, I know you've gone through your traumas in your life. Now, explain briefly about who you are and who is Natasha Dazzoni. What? Why is she into mental health and emotional trauma? Okay, I'll definitely get into that. Can I just touch on something that you just said just now? Yes. Also? Yeah, no problem. Take yeah. your time. Go ahead. Um, no, because it's, what you just explained is, like you said, trauma lives lives with you. Um, especially, um, it seemed like what you explained was like trigger. Yes, that's what it was. And right. and also a flashback of the actual trauma. Yes, it was. And is your body probably going probably panic mode? Mm -hmm. And you got, you know, you weren't able to release the tears, but good for you to acknowledge what it was and allow it to pass. Because that's when most times that's how we have to allow it to just pass through us. Yes. But, um, yeah. So I just want to acknowledge that. No, no. You. That, yeah, it was a trigger. I knew it was a trigger. I knew it was yeah. a trigger. And I could have, because I'm in my sixth personal year, my nine personal yeah. month, I could have argued with him because nine represents on the negative argument and fight and all that. But mm. I let the higher vibration of my nine and six year take over instead mm. of, and cause even my son in the conversation, who's a brilliant boy, a uh, brilliant son, a Prince Imagine, he got new music about to come out. He's my oldest son. He's 30 years old. And he said, he said, well, Pops, maybe you should have lashed out on him. I said, no. I said, because he's my, my, my cousin is sick. He's still sick. And right now mm -hmm. he could hardly talk, but I heard that clearly what he said. He could hardly talk, but mm -hmm. I heard he said that clearly. Why am I so dark? And my, my mother and father a little lighter too. Lighter. I'm like, but that's what he was taught from his family. His his parents, because they were lighter mm -hmm. skin and thought they was better and, and they thought they had everything because they were like Classism exists in the Caribbean as well as in America. Classism is Absolutely. big. Where the darker side of the Hamilton or the the, 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 the the Brown family or the Campbell family or the D'Souza family in Jamaica won't associate with the lighter side. <laughs> Some crazy stuff. No, definitely. I can definitely um, relate you know. to the light skin, dark skin. Yeah. Um, so, 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 ex explain why you got into mental health. Why you've gotten into emotional traumas yourself? What? Why is it so um, dear to you? Well, well, definitely as a social worker, I was always just interested interested in um, the issues that affect our community. So that was one of my main priority. And then when I saw that it's how mental health is impacting our people, I wanted to learn more about this thing. And um, I got into it much in depth, but also my own personal experience as a sexual trauma survivor, mm. where for a very long time, I, I didn't know what was happening to, to myself. Like, why was I so quick to get angry? Why was I afraid of being around, talking to... You know, just having a similar conversation with a man. Mm -hmm. um, why was I afraid of being touched? Just simple, if somebody touched me, I will get, you know, be a trigger. And it was when I found out that, wow, this sexual um, trauma that happened to me when I was four, seven, and 12, mm -hmm. that still lives with you. Trauma impacts your whole being. It impacts your, it impacts your, your five senses. And mm -hmm. it was when I found out, I was like, oh my goodness, this is happening to me. I can imagine how many of our brothers and sisters that also impact him. So, you know, doing my own research and also seeking the help and also being able to support others around this is, is my passion, is my lifelong mission to support others around trauma and emotional well being. Because, again, without our mental health, there's no health without mental health. Mm -hmm. we, our, our mental health doesn't provide us our physical health. So. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and and if those who are just tuning in, we're speaking to the uh, sacred woman, Natosha, uh, Natasha Dizoni. Of course, her cash app is a dollar sign uh, Dizoni Nat. That's, I got it over there, D-E-Z-O-N-I-E-N-A-T. And my cash app is uh, the dollar sign King Simon 
3158. We're speaking with mental health and wellness coach Nato uh, Natasha. Now, you know, Natasha, I, 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 you know, I, I know this is a sensitive subject to a lot of people because a lot of people mm -hmm. have held in a lot of this stuff over the years. Mm -hmm. A lot of people has held in their sexual traumas, especially, especially women and especially men. Men hold yeah. it in because they're embarrassed about telling that whether their uncle or their cousin touched them in any way. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, I've made it public record that my two female cousins fondled me when I was very little, very mm -hmm. abusive, but they try to make it a comedy type, but it was a very abusive way that still affected my dealings with in relationships. Even my mm -hmm. dealings with my daughters, I have an estranged relationship with my daughters to the point they don't understand. And one of them is not even talking to me right now. So I totally I understand, but I was hurt from partic particular women in my family. And so the cycle continues. And if we mm -hmm. don't learn to break cycles, we will continue these cycles. And I hope that they watch these things. I hope that they, you know, I hope the one that's not talking to me who's studying to be a bioengineer now will, will open up her heart. So with, I'm, I'm meditating more, I'm getting into my heart frequency and opening up because once I heal my heart more, then I could heal all my children and all my family mm, from that. that it's, a, it, it's a deeper thing than just me. You know what I'm saying? It's deeper than me. And I got to thank people like Sister Khadija, uh, Brother Panic's wife, who has uh, given me chakra um, healing uh, book. I read, I got her chakra healer book. People like Queen Neat has helped mm. me also. And uh, people like Queen of Four from my past back in the day, those are people that have helped hurt me, but I mean, help me. So, you know, it's very important. It's very important for th people like yourself who deals with mental health and wellness. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you, as a social worker, do you find that you find a lot of people out there into uh, going through mental problems? Do you find, and sexual abuse as a social worker? Well, I would say people are experiencing a lot of mental health issues. Mm. However, I don't see a lot of people coming forward to, to get help. Right, right, especially, right. Especially people of color. Mm -hmm. um, you know, African, uh, African, we're not coming forward to, to get the support. Right. Um, but in fact, we're suffering 20% more than the rest of the population, but we're not coming forward to get support because... I would say it's because this country has a history of, of when we come to an inside persistence, you know, they take advantage of us. So I can understand people not want to come forward because of, of the history of how health, how, how our health has been treated in this country. However, you know, if we don't, I would say, get this type of support in terms of our mental health, I can, I'm seeing it in the, the kids, the, the children, because I work, I also work with school. Right, right. And, right. I'm right now, one of the biggest issues, I think one in five students are being impacted by mental health. Mm. One of the biggest issues, I work with schools in, South, in the South Bronx, and the the dropout rate is ridiculous. I'm talking about in the elementary school where the attendance is bad, mm. um, academic is bad, because if we don't address these underlying issues, which is normally trauma, yeah. around whether trauma looks like it could be domestic violence in the home, it could be... Um, the, the students are being abused. It could be bullying. Mm -hmm. So many of our students, um, children right now, are being impacted by trauma and mental health. Right. And if they don't have a household that foster mental health, um, the parents are taking care their their own mental health. Of course, the children are not. They have no idea how to take care of their own mental health. So it's a big issue. But uh, I don't see that um, a lot of people are seeking help regarding these issues. Those who are just tuning in, we're speaking to Natasha Dazoni. And if you do want a free 20 minute consultation with her just to assess what's going on with yourself or children, you do children also, correct? Correct. If you do want to assess what's going on with your child or don't going on with you, cause don't act like some of us, we like to hide and keep on hiding it under bushel mm -hmm. basket and keep on piling it on top of and keep it compart uh, uh, compart uh, compart uh, what, what's the word? Uh, com uh, compartmentalized in our mm -hmm. very heads. You can get a free consultation, a free 20 minute consultation with Natasha, who is a mental health wellness coach and she works as a social worker. You can 
Call her at 973-910-8470. That's 973-910-8470. Or hit up, DM her in IG. That's at uh, holistic underscore living project. That's W-H-O-L-I-S-T-I-K underscore living, L-I-V-I-N-G project, P-R-O-J. E C T, you know. Thank um, you, you're welcome, there. You're welcome. No, no, because therapy. A lot of people are afraid to go to. A lot of people are afraid to put their money mm-hmm. to. And but if you watch shows like The Breakfast Clubs or Sway in the Morning, there a lot of these entertainers who seem like they're happy are mm-hmm. suffering from mental issues. They're getting paid. They're paying for therapy. These people are paying for therapy, you know? And, and, and go ahead, sis. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, and sorry. therapy is just simple. Um, even my personal experience and I also as a therapist, you just sitting down mm-hmm. um, with the professional and you're just talking and the professional is yes. supporting you. Yes. There's, there's no, um, I, I think one of the, the frequent questions that I used to get was, are you going to put me on medication? No, uh, a licensed therapist cannot put you on any medication. The only person that can give you medication is a psychiatrist, and therapists are not psychiatrists. Mm, that's right, 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 right. They're not psychiatrists. Now, now, do most of these people need to go on uh, medication? I understand people like Dr. Umar Johnson say that you don't have to get your children on Ritalin for ADHD and all that kind of craziness. Do they really? Because I know they're trying to like either this society like to 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 put you on drugs so you can go to mm-hmm. bigger drugs later or, large, or, or you know more stronger drugs later is it necessary to put a lot of uh, people on medicines or any type of drugs i am not a fan of putting anybody in any type of drug right. i'm a big advocate for natural healing i i i'm i've seen many cases where keeping and tap into natural healing such as the food you eat exercising it's like a whole lifestyle change mm-hmm. to maintain just like a car you got to maintain the, a car right so right. the more you have to maintain your body by what you're pouring in if you're in a toxic relationship that's going to impact your your mental health everything impacts your mental health so having a balance in everything in your life Baha, um that's what's key to us being balanced and in a, in a line Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And that, yeah, that's what keeps us balanced in the line, especially when we keep in tune. Uh, uh, would you suggest meditation and, and natural? That's a big, especially with people experience trauma. That's a, a very good tool right. to have in your toolbox um, as a trauma. You know, as you explain trauma, because breathing is breathing. Not only breathing, but just able to to, to it helps you to manage your mind, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. manage your thoughts manage you know just manage your brain overall which is our you know the, our, our nervous system so meditation is definitely good tool to have in your toolbox i agree and you know what's so funny i've been hearing about narcissism a lot mm. and narcissistic people are, ha, are have mental issues correct yes yeah. i'm not a fan of that word uh-huh. but um, i Yes, I'm. I've heard where I've heard about it. I've I heard people talk about narcissism and how these people don't have any type of empathy. Mm-hmm. Um, to be honest, I'm not even a big fan of the word mental illness. Okay. I I in my personal experience, I believe a lot of people are acting because of something that happened in their life. Mm-hmm. They build these different mechanisms to protect themselves. Mm-hmm. To cope, mm. and some of it may be healthy, and some of it may be unhealthy. And how do you help people to, I would say, to to have healthier coping mechanisms by teaching them new skills to mm. cope? Mm. Okay. So, like, not so for so example, for so for somebody that we will our society can consider a narcissist, um, they they say they lack empathy. Um, they are very full of themselves. But if, if you grew up in a household that didn't affirm you or maybe over affirm you, I can see how 
this person may develop another personality because of their environment. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. Other, I, I important me that people can change. Mm-hmm. Yeah. People can change from their narcissistic ways. Your narcissistic ways, you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Any, anything is possible. <laughs> you, know, you, you know what's so funny? I was listening to a, a, a broadcast on YouTube the other night with Blue Pill and a brother named Ken. I keep on forgetting his last name. But he, mm. said, he, he was saying when he read the Bible, he said, he said, you know, Jesus sounded like a narcissist. <laughs> <laughs> Because he said, no man can come through the Father but through me, and no mm. can get to heaven but through me. And he was so he was showing the correlation with narcissism and what Jesus was saying, like he could be a semi narcissist, you know, <laughs> in the way. And depending on who re, who wrote the Bible or translated the Bible, they probably made him into one. <laughs> just I'm just saying, but that was so funny that they pointed I that out. <laughs> It's the new buzzword in, in mental health now, narcissist. Uh, I don't know. I, I yeah. like it's, uh-huh. But, it's, but it's, it's, an old, it's an old word. It's not that new. It's an old word. It's, but I feel like it's, it's being used more. Right, right, right. Nowadays, uh, everybody, oh, you're, you're a narcissist, he's a narcissist. No, I, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a fine line, I feel like. Yeah, it's a fine line because you find that men and women are narcissistic if you really go to the word because sometimes I can talk to a sister on the street and she ain't hear a word I said she only heard what she said. Mm. <laughs> hey, <laughs> that's a, a form of it. Well, that doesn't mean that she's a narcissist. That means she does not listen. Not, <laughs> look, look, hey, but that most narcissists, <laughs> no, most narcissistic people don't listen to you. They no, just, <laughs> I do not agree. <laughs> they don't uh, listen. Real, we have people that just don't listen. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> and then that's nothing to do with narcissists. Because, <laughs> because you don't know when they have that sister that day that she can even concentrate on listening to you. Maybe uh, 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 she had a bad day. No, Maybe no, not, not, when, not, not, not when it's all the time. You understand? Not when it's all the time. Like if you look on some of these reality shows, you see that there's all the time this is happening. But they're getting paid, Simon. Oh, yeah, yeah, but they're getting paid to act like who they are. <laughs> oh, That's what they're getting paid to do. Act like who they are. <laughs> so the, 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 the reality shows have revealed a lot of people. Has revealed the, the, the demons and they revealed the angelic <laughs> sides of these people. <laughs> I think about it, because the real the whole reality show thing started with the Truman story, that movie, the Truman story. Mm. Ah, everybody watching all cameras on uh Jim Carrey. Everything, everything about his whole life and everything is only about him. And what he go when he goes to the toilet, the bathroom, the this, the that, the relationship, all that kind of stuff. That was the starting starting point of all reality shows. And then they got, of course, they have nothing else to write about. They're lazy. <laughs> so they need to have reality shows. They have no ideals. And, and mm. so, but getting back to where we at, mental health and wellness, and, and, you know, and and let the people know with your experience with. Even getting trained by and, and going through Queen of Fools, Sacred Woman, and you went through mm. Landmark. Tell the people how that was for you to be able to be a better mental health wellness coach. Well, um, so I, I'm, I'm very big on learning more, not only about myself, but how I can help to support others with different healing modalities. Yeah. And I would say, starting out with Landmark, one of the biggest things that Landmark helped me with was healing the relationships around me mm-hmm. and how to forgive. Right. I would say, as you know, when you experience trauma, especially, you know, I can see from at a young age, I go around in the world having a very hard time trusting not only myself, but trusting others. I would say the two of the biggest person that I had a hard time with was my mom and my, my, you know, and my dad, my mom and my dad, and just anybody in general, because I would feel like some people are out to, to hurt me. And I feel like Landmark gives me tools how I can communicate and how I'm feeling without 
blaming people. Right. Or not only that, but Landmark gave me concrete insight of how when my trauma happened, how I take on these different roles and how I have to be mm. to protect myself. Mm. Yes, it, it was deep. It so, was so, deep. so, so, you, you would say landmark is a good thing to go to to help flush out a lot of things. Well, I would say landmark is a good place to go to. Yes, to flush out. I don't say I'm not saying like a lot of things, right. but it's another language you can, another tool you can have in your toolbox to help mm -hmm. you to uh, get some understanding of how you operate. Mm -hmm. But it does not. Uh, it, but it's not a place where you're gonna get anything. I would say like African centered. Okay. No. Yeah. You're coming from a. They're coming from a European perspective. I guess. Right. That's what it is. is yeah. It? Well, not so much. Your, but more like. Um, Universal. Yeah. Okay. So exactly. they're using all. It's, it's like the secret. They're using all of the stuff, all of the information. Exactly. Right. Right. Yeah. Right, right. Right. Which actually exactly. all comes from us anyway. <laughs> So it is what it oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> because when you study the secret, they keep on talking about these ancient books and these ancient ways. It, it all yeah. comes from us anyway, because we know Europe didn't have all this. <laughs> they didn't know nothing about this stuff. But, you know, but and, that, and uh, how about going through sacred woman training? Because you did go through sacred woman with Queen of Four. How was that? Yeah. And how did that help you more? Because I know you did a monologue and you did send me the monologue <laughs> while I was away. And uh, by the way, everybody, she will be doing a, what type of monologue you'll be doing on April 28th at the Shahrazad event and um, Ashra Kwesi event? I will be doing a monologue on healing and okay. you know just relationships and how we okay. need to heal as divine masculine feminine. Okay, great. Now, sp please speak about Queen of Four and how she helped you also? So one of the biggest, I would say, um, thing that I got out of Queen of Four program was healing my inner child. Uh, mm. Like many trauma survivors, one of the biggest thing that I suffer from was not able to handle the triggers and the flashback mm -hmm. of my trauma. Uh, most of the times I used to try to disassociate from it. And I'm pretty sure many people that experience trauma, we don't want to think about it. We don't want to experience it. It's something that happened. You're trying to separate yourself from it. And that was one of the biggest things that I was doing. But going through Kuna Four's program, I was able to uh, tap into my inner child, but to be with my inner child mm -hmm. when when this thing happened, but also find some empowering, I would say, words around it, but just some I, I was able to tap tap into my inner child, but I was able to to like to change the narrative mm -hmm. around how my inner child was. So I had a story that my inner child was weak, and you know she allowed this to happen, and and I don't want to be associated with anybody that was weak. Mm -hmm. But I was able to do our program to tap into that, and I, even the, the flashbacks that I was having, the, the memories that I was having about my trauma, I was I was just numb and stuck on the bed mm, mm. and going through queen of four program i was able to 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 change that narrative mm -hmm. around my inner child and in terms of like you must be so brave to to withstand that and to still survive and move through the world so i would say the biggest thing was was around able to change the narrative i i had around the story I was telling about my inner child and how she, you know, she was weak, and um, that was the biggest thing. And and just be able to be in sisterhood, okay. that was one of the, the the biggest blessings I was able to get to be with other sisters and know right. that I'm not the only one that's going through things. And we were able to bond, and you know, we create a lot of amazing memories. So I'll never forget. Yeah. Um, yeah, Queen, Queen of Four. Yeah. Queen of Four is a gem in our community. And if you, if you do want to join, uh, do the secret, the Sacred Woman program, you can always go to queenofour.com. That's Q U E E N of Four A F U A dot com, and support the Queen because the Queen is graduating some wonderful students and Sacred Women like this one here, and many others that I've known, like Yendez, who was one of her people of the first class priestess Yendez, who was part of that class first class back in the day, Akai, and different people that are doing work all over the world, serving people from what they have learned from people like Queen of Four, 
Dr. Africa. You also took Dr. Africa class. Isn't that isn't that correct? Yes, I did. Because <laughs> Dr. Africa is like a father, a grandfather, right? <laughs> yes. I love Dr. Africa. <laughs> she, 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 she always she, she loved Dr. Africa so much. And you know, and I, you know, I encourage you to do that. Take the classes, take these people's classes because her numbers being born on the second of the month, the two, anything born on anybody born on the second, the eleventh the uh, 29th or the 20th of the month, those are healing numbers. Those are actually healing and compassionate numbers. And they're supposed to do things with compassion and balance. So mm -hmm. I, from the time I read her numbers, I knew exactly what she's supposed to do. It's just that she had to balance it out with that fire nature she got. <laughs> That's fire nature. That's that called that water and fire is hard to deal with each other. <laughs> but that's just how that's how the elements work. But mm -hmm. what I, what I told you is the elements work that your your fire is supposed to be your assertiveness and the the water is supposed to be your compassionate downloads and information. And then you assert mm -hmm. it through your fire. That's how the fire. That's how all the elements can work in this universe. All of them do work in the universe. It's just when it gets to human existence and its connection to us, our willpower throws it right off. That's why That's why numbers are simple. People are complicated, <laughs> which is crazy, but I'm loving it. You know, <laughs> once again, those who are just tuning in, once again, share the video or uh, show your love to the sister and go get that 20-minute uh, consultation, that 20-minute free consultation. Give her a call. Can they text you or call you? Should they text you or call you? Which one um, is best for you? They can do both. They can text you all at 973-910-8470. That's 973-910-8470. We got 15 more minutes for the show. I'm not going to do a long show. It's just going to be an hour, and we're going to keep it moving because sometimes you got to keep it short, sweet, and simple. Too much mm -hmm. chat and too much talk and too much <laughs> in the military and in any military training we're taught to keep it simple stupid or keep it simple soldier keep it simple and then k-i-m keep it moving and whatever you do <laughs> you're laughing but whatever you do with this information it's for your information she's a mental health and wellness coach she specializes in mental health emotional traumas and she's a social worker. So if you anywhere around the world that's listening to me, all 196,940,000 square miles, share the video with somebody that might need it, you know, mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and share her number. 20 minutes first and then you pay for the rest. Beautiful. You can't be that. The consultation is only to assess what's going on in yourself or your children's life or your husband's life or your wife's life. What's going on? I know, uh, I, I know a, a, a sister who had 12 children, mm. uh, Natasha. So she's been a mother most of her life since she was mm. 21, probably 20. And she was having signs of mental, uh, uh, signs of depression. Mm. And I told her, I said, sister, you've been a mother and serving everybody all your life. It's time mm. for you to do you and go away and go to a beach and relax. Don't don't mm -hmm. don't be a mother right now. You need to be who you wanted to be from before and how you want to release the energy. So she did go and get consultation because she lives in uh lives in uh down south and she is so much better now. I've had people call me, I've directed them to her, Nat Natasha, I've directed them to the suicide hotline. Look, mm. they're trained to do and talk people down and talk to people and deal with your emotions. So those people, people like Natasha, people like the Suicide Hotline, the people like Malika Ali is also trained to do this. Various people are trained to do this and handle this type of stuff. So don't hold it in, family. If you're suffering yeah. from it, don't hold it in. Why shouldn't they hold it in, Natasha? Please tell them before we close out. <laughs> Because again, holding stuff like that can, can literally kill you. I had a cousin, uh, not I had a cousin. Literally, um, she was raped by one of her other cousins, mm -hmm. and she almost took her life. Mm. Because, and even you just mentioned you were holding things in. Because yeah, when we hold things in, this again, we're suppressing and suppressing. We don't heal by suppressing; we heal by releasing. Mm. 
Mm, that's right. We heal by releasing. Exactly. And I realized that over the years, healing by releasing. Yeah. The, the 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 stories I could tell people that sometimes and 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 you know Michael Basin wrote a book, that cancer man. He wrote a book called <laughs> Men Cry in the Dark. Mm. Mm, I think every woman should still read that book again. Men cry in the dark. Because we do. Sometimes you wouldn't even know we're crying. We just came out the shy and we say we got soap in our eyes. <laughs> All of that, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We, we got soap in our eyes, all that kind of stuff. But men cry in the, the shower, men cry on the stool, men cry in the dark, men cry. We do cry, and, mm. but we some of us have been taught to be so macho. Now I'm not telling no man to be feminine. I'm telling that sometimes the, the buildup of what hurts that has happened to you, you need to release it through your tears and don't I hold can. it because your organs will start to cause become sick if you hold them in because certain yes. emotions hold into your organs that's that's a, mm -hmm. a lot of i know there's a lot of um autoimmune disease mm -hmm. that are caused by us holding in emotions yes when the <coughs> body attack itself mm -hmm. now now, will you be teaching any classes? Are you only teaching for women? Are you teaching men? Are you going online? What are you going to do? What, what, what's what's your next move? What's my next move? Okay. I know you I have am classes. doing a sexual trauma right, right. Um, monthly group that's oh. starting this coming Saturday. That's right. It's in person in New York. Okay. So mm -hmm. for any survivors, it's only for women okay. right now. Only for women. Okay. Yes, that I'm doing this coming weekend. It's once a month, right? For twelve weeks, I would say not twelve. I mean, twelve sessions every month. Um, so I would say, oh, next year. So pretty much, it's me and two other sacred women, and we're all survivors of sexual trauma. Okay. And we're just hoping our space for for healing and um, non judgmental, of course, and just a safe space where our, where women can come and. And um, release and get the healing that they need from sexual trauma. Mm, okay, and and uh, you have a you have a number. Uh, you you want them to call your number also, just in case they live here in New York or in the tri-state area and can make it. Yes, they can. Yes, they can. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, that's a uh, nine seven three nine one zero eight four seven zero nine seven three nine one zero eight zero seven zero Natasha. Uh, Dazoni. Also, her cash app is dollar sign D E Z or D E Z O N I E N A T. That's Dazoni Nat. And of course, uh, what's your PayPal uh, email? Um, it's my first initial and for Nancy mm -hmm. and my last name Dazoni, Dazoni at gmail.com. Gmail Na and for Nancy Dazoni at gmail.com if you want to. Uh, do PayPal, and you want to continue any sessions or do any sessions, but take those free consultation sessions, which is an assessment to help give you guidance. Again, if you could find this book, this is an old book that I, I, I read out of. It's called More Than Moody, Recognizing and Treating Adolescent Depression. Recognizing and Treating Adolescent Depression because your children might be suffering from not having their daddy or losing their mommy and losing their daddy and all different traumas that might be happening. There's various amount of traumas that can lead to depression or lead to this type of uh, mental health issues. So this is a good book. Another good book I was showing y'all early was Dodging Energy Vampires. Very mm. good book. Dodging Energy Vampire by Christian, Christian uh, North, North, Northrop, MD, Christian Northrop, and it's a New York Times bestselling, Dodging Energy Vampires, an Impact's Guide to Evading Relationships That Drain You and Restoring Your Health and Power. Very good book to have in your, 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 your uh, collection. And another book I was showing y'all called Energy Vampires, A Practical Guide for Psychic Self-Protection. Mm -hmm. Practical guy, because they talk about uh, these type of things, traumas and mental health and all that in the books. That's why I'm showing you. And there's another one, one more 
is by Dr. Jill Murray and uh, Destructive uh, Destructive Relationships, A Guide to Changing the Unhealthy Relationship in Your Life. A lot of trauma come through relationship. Mm-hmm. Let's think about it by Jill Murray, one of my good thick books I got here. And I, I, I think I picked this up for a dollar. Oh, I go to them dollar spots. I go to those dollar spots. I love to read. I love to study. I love to research. And I love to bring back people like Natasha back on. I, I, I hope you will come on one day. We're going to come on live together, face right in front of the audience, and let people call in. I'll let them ask questions. All right? Okay, definitely. <laughs> oh, yes. A good book that, um, go ahead. that I, for trauma, that is not only is it scientific, but it also does have... I will say very good human modalities is the body keep the score. Mm. Um, and it does go in depth about how literally trauma is, is inner, inner, inner bones, inner senses is just in our whole being mm. and how it impact us. So that's a good book to really, it's kind of, it gets very in depth meaning about the events that happen, mm. but it's a very good book. I recommend for, for anyone that want to learn more about trauma mm. and how it, impacting the body keep the sport brain mind and body in the healing of trauma mm, and what, I, who wrote that basil van der Kort. i probably butcher the man here, but. <laughs> 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 La- but i own one book me and the body keep the score <laughs> the body the body keep the score the body keeps the score all right that's a that's an interesting book well once again, I want to thank you, my dear. Um, please, uh, any parting words, please. Any parting words. Go ahead. Well, thank you for having me, Simon, on your platform. You're welcome. Any parting words, my brother, my sister, the time the time for healing is now. Mm-hmm. There's this one quote that I always keep with me. It says, your wound may not be your fault, but healing is your responsibility. Mm-hmm. Um, we are the generation that's going to break these generational cycles, and it's, it's time to heal. It's time to heal. Well, my dear, thank you very much, and I appreciate you 1,000%. As, as much Likewise. as I'm you, thank you, you know, and I'm glad. My biggest cheerleader. Yeah, I, I, I'm one of your greatest cheerleaders. I'm, thank you. I appreciate you, Simon. Yeah, you know, you got to keep, and I, you know, I believe everybody has a talent and a gift. We all came here to this earth to expose this talent and gift. Why, and like, like people like Les Brown always says, he always says it in different lectures. He said, hey, the richest places is not the oil fields or the gold mines or the diamond mines. The richest places yeah. are the graveyard because mm-hmm. there are people that have gone to their grave because of either depression, mental health, or trauma, mm-hmm. gone to mm-hmm. the grave and not exposed their gift and talent. And this sister is one that I did a numerology session and she even took my class, Has is showing her gift, she's blooming. Do we do 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 we go through ups and downs? Of course. Do we still have these triggers? Of course. Yeah. But staying mm-hmm. staying the path is very important. Like I said, you're not supposed to see me today. Well, you are supposed to see me today, but you're talking to a person that almost took his life three times in his life and never yeah. thought about it again after the third time. Never thought about it again. And that's it. But I can tell the story now, Natasha. I can tell it and I can tell it from the mountaintop. <laughs> All right. I love you, girl. And have a great evening. You too. I love you too. Have a good evening. Good night. Uh, Good night. Good night. Peace. That's my girl, Natasha, in the building. It is now three minutes before the top of the hour, three minutes before uh, 11 o'clock in New York City, three minutes before the top of the hour where you might be, 57 minutes after the hour. Once again, my cash app is uh, dollar sign King Simon. If you appreciated this information, if you appreciated the mental health information, you can watch this over. I will put it on and put it up. Um, if you appreciate the mental, if you just got in and listened to it over, basic stuff, simple stuff, so we can help heal our family, heal our children. You know, you never know what your child is going through. My mother and father didn't know what I'm talking because <clears throat> my parents coming from Jamaica, they were hands-on. They really didn't know how to raise children. 
And they told us this after after some years. They told us they really didn't know how to raise children. So everything is hands on. So you don't go no, you, you think you trust family members or you trust friends, but yet you find family members traumatizing you in some way or hurting you in some way or me hurting my own uh, my own family, my own sister and all that. Those things happen, especially in a young age because, because we don't understand and we were never taught. So a lot of us are becoming parents and we were not taught to become parents. We were not guided. That's why Phil Valentine said something, Dr. Phil Valentine said something years ago at a lecture. He says, look, children, don't need to be taught to be children. Babies don't need to be taught to be a baby. It's the parents that need to be taught <laughs> to know how to raise this child. They come, they, children come through us to teach us. Babies come through us to teach us how to be better parents or how to be an accountable parent, how to be. And some of us fail. Some of us go through the ups and downs. Believe me, I went through the ups and downs. I failed because I started chasing entertainment instead of incorporating the entertainment in part of my family life and incorporating my family. That's what I lost from sometimes went to some, my oldest son and to my daughters and all the different things and meeting most of my, you know, and, and so it is what it is, but we're all healing in some form or fashion. And if you are healing and if you are, feel that you need some consultation or some mental health consultation, or you want to find uh, some help for a friend, Call Natasha. Call Natasha at 973-910-840-8470. That's 973-910-8470. 20 minutes. She got free consultation for 20 minutes. 973-910-8470. And you can hit her up on IG at holistic underscore living project. Me, I'm on King Simon Productions on IG. Be a friend of mine. If you're not a friend, join the King Simon Productions. I'm on Numeroversity on IG. That's N-U-M-E-R-O-V-E-R-S-I-T-Y. That's my word, Numeroversity, the University of Numbers. Cash App, King Simon 3158. That's King Simon 3158. PayPal numbers are simple at Gmail. Numbers, the letter R, Gmail. Website, King Simon, King Simon Productions eventbrite.com for events. For products, King Simon Productions slash products. And that's how you're going to find me out there. So I love you, family. I give thanks to all of you. Share the video and continue to heal and grow and be your very best. I want to thank everybody that watched me on Brother Richard's show. I had a wonderful time speaking about Bojo Bantan, Jamaican music, and just the numbers itself. You know, Rich gives those questions. So big up to Black Magic 363 all the time. And I'll be on Sarnetta TV soon. Also, like I said, I'll be in Baltimore, uh, uh, Capitol Hill, Maryland um, <clears throat> on April, I think it's Capitol Hill, Maryland. I got to find that flyer. But uh, you can go to Eventbrite at Black Power Series, Black Power Series, uh, Black Power, um, uh, what's that called? Black Power, um, let me look up the fly. Let me find the fly because I'm here guessing <laughs> and I'm, I'm really tired and I just need to not guess and just find it for you and stop playing. We find it for you and stop playing. Okay, it's called the Black Power Blueprint Speaker Series, Speaker Series. The Black Power Blueprint Speaker Series in Maryland. And that's gonna be at the Everlasting Life Restaurant. That's 9185 Central Avenue, Capitol Heights. I'm here, Kiss Capitol Hill. Capitol Heights, MD in Hampton Mall. So we'll I'll be there on Sunday, April the 13th. That's um, at 6.30. I think it's 10 or $15 to get in. Professor Griff will be there on April the 6th. Judge Joe Brown will be there April the 20th. Uh, Dr. M Mumbai, uh, Mumbi will be there April 21st. And C.R. Gibbs will be there April 27th. But I will be there on April the 13th 
in uh, Maryland. That's Capitol Heights, Maryland, or MD, like it says, Everlasting Life. All right. And uh, don't forget, Joshua Kwesi and uh, Sister Shahara Zad Ali, go to my website, kingsimonproductions.eventbrite.com if you want hard tickets or you want online tickets to be there. If you want to see the live stream with Sister Shaharazad, please go to usalivestream.com. That's usalivestream.com. Right now, the tickets are available so you can see Sister Shaharazad Ali. And if you want all the links to the live stream for Dr. Africa, the live stream for Sister Shaharazad Ali, the tickets for Dr. Africa, the tickets for Ashwa Kwesi and Sister uh, Shaharazad Ali, go to kingsimonproductions.wordpress.com forward slash events and scroll down and you'll see all the links to everything. And for products, I have t-shirts and my books are online. That's uh, numbers are simple, people are complicated. And my children's books, is online. Numbers are simple. Our children's health is important. Look, I got a lot of consultations to do tomorrow through the whole week, so I'm happy. One love, one aim, one destiny. Stay focused, stay alive, stay true to yourself, and be great. I'm out of here. Let me clear some music, and I'm out. <laughs> Where the music there? Yes, man. All right, so y'all be safe, people. King Simon is out of here.